Hello everyone, welcome to another lecture video. In this video, we are going to see the style and elements of formal letter. Formal letters are very very important in business communication. It deals with a lot of things and it serves as important document between a company and their business exchange. Uh, between companies and their business exchange so formal letters must follow uh, they follow a particular style so it is very important to understand them to draft a business letter the first element the first one is do not talk like a machine essentially a business letter is more professional than a business report uh, or a technical proposal Proposal. So since a letter is a communication between two individuals, it has to have some warmth and human touch. It should not be mechanical or it should not be uh, very rude. So it should have some warmth and it uh, makes interesting and reflexive of the writer's personality. So he, when it has human touch and warmth, the readers always appreciate the message. They are. It is one of the tactics. To persuade your customer okay look at the example that how you not to do it and how you can do it the first one is the policy requires the person concerned to be to fill in and return the enclosed form within a fortnight to facilitate their processing at the company's end so it sounds like machine writing or speaking like a machine but when you look at this one, we request you to fill in and return the enclosed form within a fortnight so that we can process it further. So it shows the relationship between you and the customer, shows the, your close bonding and understanding with your customer. But if you do this, that uh, the policy requires the person concerned to fill in, it sounds like you are talking to a third person whom you do not know at all but you know your customer very well so when you write in this tone in a personal tone it seems like you know your customer very well you have a deep understanding about him or her so this is what you try to say and then comes another example it is regretted that the goods sent by the company did not reach the buyers in time okay uh, here you can return like this we recreate that the goods sent sorry we re regret that the goods sent by the buyers did not reach you in time okay next display a you approach okay you first approach so you should always have an attitude or show an attitude in the letter that it is always you first your it shows that you are giving important to your customer when you approach that uh, technique an important strategy to get your customer customer message across is to write the letter from the point of view of the reader at times the letter fail to communicate the message because the writers writing them seem absorbed with the idea of highlighting their priorities and their choice and their prediction the customer has to listen only to them and they cannot express their own so that's how it sounds like it it is when it is monotonic but uh here is the sum of the example how you can do it and how you cannot should not do it okay look at the example we are glad we can now send our dv uh, vcds vcd players we also look forward to commu uh, continuing to receive orders from our customers in the future as well so it shows uh, that you are very happy and um, your it is always focused on you not about your customers but look at this one you will be glad to know that your cd vcd players are being sent shortly we look forward to continuing to receive your orders in future as well so here you give importance to the customer we are happy to receive your request look at the next one we are happy but look at the corrected one thank you very much for your inquiry Re or request or order for soon so okay next be courteous and considerate since letters are essentially human human in touch and appeal it is expected that we show courtesy and consideration towards the reader some professionals do not pay much much attention to this 
consideration being courteous and considerate but it is very very important in order to attract your customers and keep your customers with you always nobody likes to be with a person who is very rude people are always towards love and affection so it is very important to be very courteous and considerate about your customer uh, professionals do not pay much attention to this aspect in their communication and their letters sound quite drab dry and plain okay you have paid no attention to our complaint when you say like this there is no courteous here at all but look at this kindly look into our complaint you can go with this or this is to remind you that our complaint is yet to be looked into at your end and look at the next example we cannot grant you credit it is very plain and it sounds very rude instead of saying this you can do this we have carefully considered your application for credit however as per our company policies we are not in position to grant you a credit of particular credit however you can use on short term investment plan which can entitle you for a term loan at the end of your third year though this seems like beating around the bush instead of saying it very plain at their face you can always give an indirect message instead of rather hurting the feel of a customer don't blame the reader okay whenever you write a letter though it is the reader's fault you should not write you should not blame the reader in your letter business letters deal with a variety of professional situations much uh, situations are unpleasant and leave people fuming grumbling and complaining as per a golden rule we should not dash off a letter when we are furious or agitated so it's not in the rule it's not the ethic of a professional to dash off a letter when he or she is wretched even after having received a letter that is full of accusation complaints and charges you have to keep your cool if you are to blame any problem or openly candidly confess the mistake very politely in a courteous way you take for example you have not mentioned the color design of the mobile set you uh, mobile set you wish to buy instead of saying this a folder comprising all the designs and the color of the mobile phone set produced by our company is being sent again please take a take the color and design of the mobile phone set we wish to choose and make made it make it back to us we will immediately get back to you to get other quotations as soon as they understand the specification of your choice so this is how you should write the letter without complaining your customer next avoid being negative many a time a good message loses its impact because the tone and verbal structure employed by the writer is negative hence avoiding a negative approach and replacing negative verbal structures with those with sound positive and neutral is very very important take a look at uh, how the message can be communicated without sounding and again without sounding negative or dejected none of your checks have been received by us instead of saying that you can say we are yet to receive the payment for 20 laptops sent to you earlier this month despite your re repeated reminders you have not yet looked into our complaint instead of saying this you can go with we regret to inform that despite repeated reminders we are yet to hear anything about the complaint registered with you please note that despite our sem several reminders we are still awaiting anxious to hear from your end and then be neutral and precise uh, because in business world everybody is busy nobody has time to sit and read a letter and contemplate about it so a business letter must be always straight and to the point a very common problem with the business letter is that when it comes to accusing people you can be indirect but when it comes to conveying an information you should not be indirect uh with business leaders is that many of them are written in a style that sounds artificial unnatural and full of technical jargon we need to understand that professionals have to deal with a large number of reading assignments and rather receiving an unnecessary long-winded confusing verbose letter they would appreciate a communication which is natural and effective so look at the example i'm sorry to 
have to point out that Google we do okay so here is an example I'm sorry to give I'm sorry to have to point out that Google we do not uh, we do not have these goods in stock at present moment of time so instead of saying this we are sorry to inform you that due to limited stock we cannot honor your order for the next three weeks so instead of uh, just beating uh, this is an information instead of just waiting around the bush you can straight away convey the message it will be necessary for you to fill in and complete the endorsed form return uh, the same to us before we can proceed with the consideration of your request instead of doing this you can say please fill in the enclosed form return the same to us so that we can consider your request so please be precise and to the, to the point and natural and then be simple and specific at times professionals are seen debating over and speculating about the actual meaning of the intended content in a business letter all these can easily be solved by uh, simply writing the letter in a direct and a simple style in a specific style while writing a business letter ensure that it is correct complete and it conveys the clear message so that it can um, be very effective look at the examples given here the payment towards the said contain, uh, consignment will be written in a in a short period of time instead of saying this you can say thanks for sending the goods in time the payment ch check will reach you by 25th november so instead of saying this you can be sim uh, be simple at the same time specific to the point other company offers some, uh, substantial discount on paying three consecutive loan installment in time so here it is not clear our company offers substantial discount on paying three consecutive loan installments instead of saying this pay uh, three consecutive installment in time and appeal three percentage discount scheme in time okay and then carefully distinguish between i and v Personal pronouns like I, V, U are important in business letter. It is very, very important to use them very carefully. Be careful when you use V. Uh, in a business letter, if you use V, it means that your the V represents the company, whole company. Uh, uh, when uh, the business letter that is written on the company stationery, when V, the pronoun V is written, it's, it commits to your company what you have written so uh, when you state your opinion from your personal suggestion uh, you can use i i suggest you when presenting your own uh, when you come when you have an opinion about your company's policies just better say i but when you present your company's policy as it is then you can use v take for example i am still greeting uh, I am still getting a growth of 20% in customer base expansion. It is not I am, it is we. Our company or we are targeting at 20% growth in our customer base expansion. Since we don't make any special discount store overseas customers, we would suggest that you utilize a local warehouse facility instead of saying we would suggest you can say i would suggest that you utilize a local warehouse facility so here if you say i it becomes your company policy that you say that your your company suggests no your company doesn't suggest that, that it leaves up to the com customer okay it is your suggestion and judiciously use the active voice and passive voice when you use active voice your message is clear direct and very straightforward but when you use passive voice it is indirect but it's not possible to use direct uh, voice all the time when uh, you convey the negative meaning or when you uh, make a complaint you have to prefer passive voice because it sounds more polite to take a look at the example you have not yet informed me so here you are blaming instead of saying you have not 
you can choose passive voice i have not yet been informed you are not blaming anybody here the manager announced that da will be enhanced from the next financial year it was announced that the da will be enhanced from the next financial year it seems you did not wrap the scenery properly before sending it to us it seems that the scenery was not wrapped properly before being sent to us so thank you for watching the video if you have any doubt regarding this you can always come back to me thank you